All right, Recon One been sitting in the barn here for a couple days now with this Band-Aid on it, and we have to, uh, well, I can still see the oil dripping. So uh, I want to assess the damage, so I'm going to take the Band-Aid off, uh, look at it, maybe even pop the diff cover off at least today and get some uh, brake cleaner in there and clean it out and really assess what we have and see, you know, can a, can a patch be put on it? as is, you know, lift, lift the vehicle up, um, put the axles on jack stands, get a little more height and uh, make it user friendly to uh, weld it from underneath and put a patch on it. Or am I gonna have to um, disassemble the axle, pull the axles, pull the axle shafts out, the locker and so forth, and totally remove this rear axle from the vehicle and put the uh, frame up on jack stands. So, so we'll see, but we gotta start somewhere. You know, looking at it, 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 it's actually in more of a more of a flat spot than I expected. So we'll get it all cleaned up and get a lot of detailed pictures and uh, get the diff cover off and lift this up. So she's draining a little bit. So in relationship to the pinion, down the center, over to the driver's side. Armored covers off. Um, we're looking at the, uh, the ring gears here and we'll give them a good look too. Hopefully they're okay. I, I'm hopeful they are. I think they are because I'll get a flashlight, but I think we can see the opening. Right there I can see some daylight. So it's kind of it's kind of underneath. I see where, where it punctured through. It's kind of underneath the ring gear. shot so what it did it like you know I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a tape measure but you know the length of it looks to me to be maybe an inch and a quarter uh, the rip looks to be like one inch in length so what it's what it did is it almost like a volcano from the inside it's ruptured upward behind the ring gear uh, and obviously it's it's very very close to hitting the ring gear. I, I don't believe it did. It's like from the inside you can see it's like uh, pointing upward underneath it. Uh, the good news is is it's almost a almost kind of a flat area. Uh, one would think a patch would be maybe an inch and a half wide and two inches long. Um, there's definitely some meat there to weld to. But I'll get a tape measure and measure it. Uh, my my instinct is is that I probably have to take the axles out and pull the locker. Um, to maybe get in there with a hammer and or or a, a little a little Dremel tool and just grind some of it down so that, so that it's just farther away from the ring gear. Uh, you can see from my other pictures. I'll, I'll I'll get in there with the video as well, but that's my sense of it. It's not hitting the ring gear, but it's like maybe a sixteenth of an inch under it. It's hard to say, but it is close to the ring gear for sure. Uh, so it like flexed upward and in. Uh, so so that's what we have, and I'll take a bunch of pictures as well.
Okay, what I've done is I, I, I drew a circle, if we went with a circle patch around it where there's, where there's metal, you have that, you have the rib, you can see the rib towards the bottom uh, where the nick is, there's, there's, you know, there's all good metal there. But basically, you can just vaguely see the circle that I drew around it. That circle is two and three eighths of an inch in diameter. Uh, obviously it could be smaller, but it looked like that would get into some, you know, good thick uh, casting. So that's an option. Or perhaps, perhaps uh, the better option is a, is a, a square or a rectangle piece of 3 16 steel. But, you know, I'm no pro at this by any stretch of the imagination, but one would think, judging by what I see in the shape that, that a nice patch could be welded over there. It just needs to be done, you know, appropriately and very well. But, uh, but that still doesn't change the fact that, you know, the inside where it goes in towards the ring gear is, is close to the ring gear. I don't see any scrapes on it. I think it's just a hair underneath it. Uh, the teeth all look good in there. I don't think there's any injury whatsoever to the, to the ring gear or the pinion gear. Uh, so I'll, I'll go around on the other side and do a little, a little video there, but but you know, I had to uh, assess the damages here and uh, and see what my options are. So this was step one to take the uh, diff cover off and to actually actually get an idea of what exactly do we have here. Okay, if you look carefully. What you're seeing in there, the metal that you're seeing, is the back tapered side of the ring gear. Uh, perhaps the pictures show it better than the video. Right there is a pretty good view of it. So I don't see any marks on the back of the ring gear uh, or the teeth. So I think I'm fortunate in that respect. Um, it's really amazing. The, the puncture wound is really in the only spot there where it would not have jammed itself into the ring gear. You can see that the ring gear tapers up to the left of the screen. It tapers up and that gave me more height where the rupture is, where the, where the uh, cast steel is protruding upward. So it, it really, really a miracle. I mean, this was an odd, strange happening anyway, but, but I think I'm really fortunate as to where the, uh, the puncture is. So I think I'm going to um, loosen up the lug nuts and the rear axle here on both these tires, lift up the differential with the floor jack, get some jack stands to the left and right, and just try to uh, raise it up and get some clearance. I've got a wheel, wheel chalk on the uh, front driver's tire and just get a, little, get a little more height here in the garage. I think it'll be beneficial. So, and I think that's about it for today. And then I'm going to get this data and this information to some uh, friends of mine that, that uh, have more experience in this than I do. But I, I'm very hopeful that this can be fixed and patched and, 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 and be just fine. And I'm extremely fortunate from what I can see that there was no damage at all to the ring gear. So very happy with that. All right, so we got the axle up on jack stands. Um, gonna check that out. I'm gonna take these tires off, put them underneath the frame towards the front for safety. But hey, we're we're making some some progress. All right, recon one. Up on jack stands, 
tires underneath the uh, frame for safety up towards the front. And I think I've got ample room, so hopefully we can weld this thing in place. But as I said, I've got a sneaky suspicion I'm going to have to at least uh, pull the axle shafts and maybe even pull the carrier out and try to bang down the, the portion of the cast that's sticking up towards the, uh, towards the ring gear. So.